Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I thought I would give a super quick um, hack or trick to save some time. Well, um, this is my problem, okay? Sometimes what happens is I have a bunch of files that is located in one particular folder that I've called in my apps and uh, let's say in my fact tables, in my dimension table, well, pretty much everywhere. And then for some reason, I need to change the location of that folder to a different place or change the files to a different folder just to clean up and organize. And then, well, that's not going to work in my app because I've called the files from a particular particular location, right? So how do you do that? Well, super simple. You could just, instead of giving a direct file location, you could give the file location from a variable. So what will this do? Well it's going to save you some time because you don't need to go in everywhere and change it. So let's see how it works. I'm calling in my Amazon sales file and Amazon sales 2022 file again, which is in this particular location here. But let's say that I move the folder, then I need to come inside, make sure that wherever data files is here, I need to go in everywhere. So over here as well and change the folder name, right? But instead there's an easier way to do it. That is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the folder location that is the path to the folder where the file is located. I'm just going to copy it and then create a variable for it. So let's say set, give a variable name, v file location, because, um, well, just genius naming of uh, variables, you know. So v file location, single quotes, because it's I want it to expand as a string, right? And then put the path. The end of the path is a front slash or a forward slash. Why is that? Because after that, I want the name to come here. So here I'm just going to give the name of the file, but not the path to the folder. So I'm just going to say this one. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to enclose this in brackets and I'm going to say done. So this is so essentially what I'm saying is every time I call a file, instead of giving the path to the folder where the file is located, I'm just going to call this particular location. So, and how do I implement this? I'm just going to copy it, go back to my fact table. And here now I can remove the direct path and instead do dollar and my file location and done. And then I give the file name done. So now I can copy the same thing and I can call do it over here. So up till here, then I can go to my other files. And all I need to do is just do this once. Why? Because after this, let's say that all of these files, which are located in data files now moves to a new folder. So I don't need to go in and change it every single time, right? Instead, I can just go to my main over here and just change the folder name. So now all my files have moved to a new folder called data new folder. And automatically click is going to get the right path and call in all the files. So this is a super simple hack that um, saves you a lot of time, especially if you constantly try to rearrange and some files have moved to different places, then you don't need to go in and look at every single load that you're doing. Instead, you can just change it once. So this is, um, this is one of Click's best practices. Hope you learned something. And you know what? If you look here, we have looked at some complicated variable scenarios and um, this is part of my next upcoming course. So I'm putting together, I've got so many questions and so many requests. So I thought, okay, fine. I'm just going to make it into a little course. So sign up below to the newsletter and you will get early bird access. I hope you save some time and I hope you have a lovely weekend. See you in the next one. Peace guys.